This is Excel 2010 and Excel 2007 is similar. I want to create a graph. Graphs in this are very different to 2003 and any of the previous ones in actually getting them set up. They're different in the sense that the, in previous versions, before 2007, you had the chart wizard. You don't have that anymore. So this is how it works. I want to plot this information on a graph. Not too interested in the type of graph it is at the moment. I just want to be able to create that graph. And I can do that. I have to go to my tabs across the top here and choose Insert. And you'll see over here it's got different types of graphs. And you can see I've got column, line, pie, bar, area scatter, and other charts. And you'll see they've all got little arrows next to them so I can choose the chart type that I want. For this instance, I'm going to choose the column one. Yours might look slightly different. It all depends. The ribbon looks different if you've got different resolutions and things like that. So I might have actually had them all going horizontally across and actually bigger icons here. So if I click on this column here, you'll see it's got these different graphs here. And you'll see that if I click on it, there are more down the bottom here. Just moving this back up here again, I'm going to go to column and from my drop down box I'm going to choose this one here which is basically a 2D column and you'll see that when I select it it automatically just inserts the chart directly in. And if I move down you'll now see it's got that whole chart there. Okay, And it's just simply overlaid it. Now one of the things is you do in some instances want to put this straight onto another sheet and in previous versions you could choose whether you want it on a new sheet or to put it into the sheet. But if you want to move it to a new chart sheet, what you have to do now is if you move over to the side here on the ribbon, and you'll see at the top here now, it has an extra bit to the ribbon. It has these chart tools. It's got design, layout, and format, all specific to charts. So I can now click on this move chart here, click on that button, and it gives me the option to move it to another sheet, and I can choose the sheet, or I can create a new sheet, I can type it in, and it will create a new sheet that only has the chart on it. So that's how you do it there. The other things you can change are on the design, you can change the style here. I'm just going to move this across now so you can see it. And you'll see I can change it. If I click on this, it gives me just different colors of the chart. You can see it there as I click on any of these. I can change, and moving across again, the layout is still on the design here. I can click on that one there. It's got uh, this one here. You can see a little graphical representation of what it looks like. It's got the legend there. If I click on that one, it gives me a different layout again and again. And you can see if I scroll down, it's got all sorts of different layouts here, and you can choose the one that suits you. And here I've got one now that is overlapping a bit here. So they've kind of made it a little bit simpler, some of these bits. You can switch the data around. So if you've got data in your rows and columns and you want to switch it to the other way around, clicking on that will change it to the other way around. And you can see it's happening here as well. You can change the chart type by clicking on that. And now you get a whole list of different charts, which you can change it to. You can see all of them listed here. And if you click on any of these categories here, it jumps you to the category on the list or you can simply scroll up and down. So if I want to change that to a 3D, click on that, hit OK and it's now changed to a 3D view. OK, so nice and easy to change and you'll see that the chart styles here have changed as well. Let's just move across. I'm now just going to click on the Layout tab and you'll see this has more to do with formatting. So I can actually go here, I can change the chart title I can tell it that I don't want, don't want any in there. I can put it above the chart or centered and overlaid. So if I can click on that, you'll see it puts it in there. I just need to highlight that and change it to sales. And you'll see there's all sorts of things I can do here. Adding in data labels, I can turn those on and off. I can add in a data table, which as you can see goes directly underneath the graph. And if I don't want it, I'm just now clicking back on it and choosing none. So in a way, a little bit easier. Same with the legend. I can say none or where I want it displayed. 
and you'll also see down the bottom here I've got more legend options and those are more options happen on these as well more title options the title axes I can change things there as well and I can do things with the grid lines okay sorry it's just going slightly off the side there if I move across you'll see I can change the chart wall that's behind it the floor which you wouldn't be able to change on a 2d but on a 3d you can so you can choose more options again and you've also got 3d rotation if it's 3d if I click on the format tab you'll see I have all sorts of other options like shape fill putting in word arts and things like that so what I'm going to do I'm just going to move this down here because the one thing to remember with charts and this applies to charts in any of the versions if I want to change this column here or any of these columns to a different color simply right click choose format data series and you'll see it comes up with this dialog box of actually being able to change say the fill color so I can change it to something else I'm gonna change it to oh let's be different let's choose that so it's obvious you can change the transparency so how much you can see through it and you can see it's changed it right there the other thing is aside from right clicking and that applies to absolutely anything so even on these grid lines here just a right click choose format axis and I can change loads of different things in here so the right click is useful it's not only the right click that works you can double click here as well and you can make changes so the right click and double click do the same thing and it will save you having to use this ribbon at the top here which a lot of people do find really annoying I'm going to do some other tutorials on how to change specific things like putting pictures onto graphs the other thing I'd like to point out is you can change the size of your graphs here you can change it there you can also change the size of the graph on the sheet too so I can just move it around like this and you can just move the chart down here too the other thing I'd like to say is I'm going to do more of these so I'm going to do things like being able to put pictures onto your columns here separate tutorial for that but for now that is getting started with charts in Excel 2007 and 2010